Hi Lady Charmers, it's Carissa with Big Mouth Charisma. Today we're going to do a quick and easy look with just a few products. I've started with a half pump of each Ivory and Dewy Make Sense Original Foundation. And I typically do like to use my fingers to apply my foundation. Um, you know I've heard that brushes do an even better job and I might get into that soon but fingers work well for now. I'm going to use three Shadow Sense colors today. This is Candlelight. It works as a great brightener, highlight, concealer. I'm also going to use Bronze Blush Sense. So I put a little bit on each finger and then I just carefully uh, apply that to where it's needed. Patting it on, not rubbing too hard around my eyes. And then I apply just a little bit of Bronze Blush Sense continue smoothing in the candlelight and then add some of that nice golden bronze blush scents to my eyelids as well. Now I look like I've been kissed by the sun. A little bit more candlelight to cover dark circles under my eyes. And now we're gonna get into a little bit of pink opal shimmer, one of the colors I used so frequently. In the corners of my eyes, underneath my brow, and above my brow as a highlight. Now just a tiny little touch of pink posy to add a deeper color to the corner of my eye. Get that evenly spread and then I like to use a brush to just smooth it out a little bit better. Quick comb of the brows, why not? And we'll add just a little bit more pink posy to my fingers. I like to kind of spread it sort of thinly on my fingers to apply it nice and evenly on my cheeks. So that's pink posy on my cheeks and on my eyes. Now I'm just using this blush brush to sort of smooth things out and blend it in as seamlessly as possible. A little bit more of the pink opal shimmer as a highlight at the top of my cheekbones. And let's get into lip scents to finish off the look. Give it a good shake, especially if they've been sitting around for a little while. You wanna make sure all the particles are thoroughly mixed. Start with clean, dry lips. Doing this with a washcloth will help to exfoliate your lips a little bit before you apply so you have a nice smooth surface. I'm applying two coats of Love It, which is a warm pink color. It kind of has a creamy look and feel to it. I'm just perfecting my foundation a little bit as I go along, noticing some parts that I haven't blended in completely or could use some more smoothing. So there's layer of two of Love It. And the final layer is Dawn Rising, which is a nice brown tone with some golden flecks to it, sort of a golden brown. I really love this color for toning things down. Make sure it dries real nice. It gets a little warm under the lights, so I like to make sure my face isn't too sweaty or humid before I leave the bathroom. And I let it dry really well and apply my glossy gloss. Now just doing some final touch-ups on my foundation and I'll use my translucent powder to tie everything together and help my makeup feel set. Make sure you do sort of give yourself a transition between your ears and your face. So you do want to apply just a little bit of product to your ear area. And the brush is really versatile too, so you can use it as a full brush or you can kind of shrink it down so that it's more concentrated. 
you can get up into your hairline really well or be a little bit more specific about where you want a contour if you're using bronze translucid powder. This is silver rose translucid powder, so it has a little bit of a pinkness to it and also a little sparkle. There you go, there's the finished look. It took me less than 15 minutes to put together this face. And I used just a handful of products, including three Shadow Sense colors, Pink Posy, Pink Opal Shimmer, and Candlelight. I used Bronze Blush Sense, Translucid Powder, and two colors of Lip Sense, Love It and Dawn Rising. I was trying to come up with a sort of rose gold color for my lips. Let me know in the comments below if you think I got pretty close. If you liked this tutorial and you want to see more like it, let me know by subscribing to my channel, giving this video a thumbs up, and leaving a comment below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.